guys, it's Calista and today I am going to be filming a California haul because I just got back from California and I'm super excited. So before I start, I feel like I haven't made a video in so long, but yeah, I know I said I was going to do start doing back to school videos, but I kind of want to film this haul because I want to put a video up really quick and because like I haven't made a video in a long time, I feel like it's only been like a week or something, which I guess isn't that long, but to me it was a while. Okay, so anyways, I went to California with a couple friends um, for this thing. Okay, you probably can hear my family in the background just saying. But anyways, one of the first things that I went to when I was in California was Brandy Melville. Oh my gosh, my family needs to stop screaming. I went to Brandy Melville and so I really wanted to go there, but at the same time I didn't because everybody has like shirts from Brandy Melville. But I went online and I knew the two shirts that I wanted to get. And I feel like they're the shirts that everybody has. But anyways, they're like the graphic crop tops. And this one says, too sassy for you. And yeah. And it was $18. They're kind of expensive. But I put money aside just for Brandy Melville. Because I knew the shirts I wanted. And the girl told me this was the last one they had. And the only issue I had with this was that I didn't realize this when I was in the store. But it had a mark on it. Like, I don't know if you can see that. But it had like this black mark on it. I don't know if you can tell, but it had a black mark on it, and I spent $18, and for me, that's a lot for a shirt, because I don't like spending that much on shirts, and my mom was really mad about it, and we were going to go return it, but, like, there are a lot of people in there, so we didn't. And then the other shirt that I got was Stay Weird, it's just this white, again, a crop top. So that's what I got from Brady Melville. They were both $18, and I'm pretty happy with what I got from there. Um, the mark, it's not the, like, biggest deal ever, but, again, I was kind of upset that it was there. So yeah, then we went to um, Kitson, I believe it's called. It was the store in Santa Monica because we went to like that Santa Monica shopping place. And um, so I really wanted Neff Beanie. Um, I don't know, a lot of people have them and I like the looks of them. And I had a beanie from Forever 21, but like it never stayed on and I knew I wanted Neff Beanie. So I decided to buy one. So we went into Kitson and I decided I was going to buy it. So it's just this white one. I was going to get black and then my mom said she likes white. So I just got white, plus they didn't have the black one at Kitson. So yeah, it's just white, and this was $19, which is a lot of money. Like, I'm not the type of person to spend that money, but I did because I really wanted this beanie. And I don't know, I like spend a lot of money, like more than I usually spend in California. Because for me, usually, like, I would never buy a hat that cost $20, but I decided to. So then we also went to Forever 21, and... When we were in Forever 21, I knew that I wanted to buy a flower crown or like a flower headband. So when we got there, I went and checked and they had a flower headband. So I got this one and it's just got like these little like spikes on it and the flowers and it's really cute and I like it a lot. And this was around $3. And I also got this like head wrap, this headband that's like the wrap thingy. I don't really know, but it's got like this floral see-through print and it's really cute and this was also $3. Okay, everything I bought was black and white. I'm just noticing this. Like I got nothing with color, like absolutely nothing. And also from Forever 21, I got this like white Chanel looking shirt, but like, I don't know. Okay, people are screaming. Like they're all like running around. I don't even know. Okay, but so I got this Chanel looking shirt and it was like around $12 or $13 and it's oversized so you could wear it with like leggings if you wanted to because it's like a longer shirt. But it just kind of depends because it's not. Oh my gosh. Why are people screaming? My sister's like running around screaming and it's kind of annoying. So then I found this crop tank top at H&M that it's kind of really short I feel like. But I think that I could wear it with high waisted stuff. So it was $2.95. That's another reason I bought it. So it's just black plain. And yeah, that's just what it looks like. And so I'm just going to probably wear it with high waisted stuff. And then also, the last store that I went to was Nordstrom's Rack, and I'm not the type of person to go in here, but a lot of people that I was with wanted to go to Nordstrom's Rack, so I went in there and I didn't think I'd buy anything because a lot of stuff there is super expensive, and I just didn't think I'd buy anything there, but I found this cardigan, it's just an oversized cardigan that I really like. And so this cardigan is kind of see-through, well it is see-through, but um, it's just like this black with like white and gray. If you guys have ever been to Disney World or Disneyland, you guys should comment your favorite ride. And if you've never been, you should comment what ride you really want to ride. And yeah, um, when we were at Disney World, we were about to ride Splash Mountain. And I spent $8 on a poncho. Like, who charges $8 for a poncho in Disney Land does? Yeah. But, I mean, I was mad because I didn't want to spend $8 on a poncho, but I also didn't want to get wet. 
And I spent $8 on a poncho for one water ride. Uh, it was a really dumb decision on mine, but I'm kind of glad I bought it at the same time. That way, I wouldn't get wet, because if I got wet, I would have been miserable, because it was late and it was kind of cold. It wasn't like really cold, but it was kind of cold. Don't even know if I'm making sense here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and yeah, um, bye guys.